हरे कृष्णा द माइंड इज लाइक आइस टू ट्रूथ एंड फायर टू लाइज वेन वी हियर द ट्रूथ एंड वेन वी हियर द लाइज हाउ वी रिस्पॉन्ड टू इट रिफ्लेक्ट्स अ लॉट अबाउट आवर माइंड often it is said that the truth is unpalatable and whenever somebody tells us some harsh truths about us somebody tells us something which is uh, unpalatable then the mind becomes like ice now ice is something through which breaking is very difficult and that's why when say a group of people meet for the first time then they have something like a ice breaker which is a question or a discussion point by which initially people have some barriers between them those barriers can be broken and then things can move forward so that's ice breaker but if the ice is not broken then what happens the atmosphere is chilly and frosty and we can't move forward <clears throat> so the mind is like ice to truth that means when somebody starts speaking the truth to us Uh, then we start becoming cold and suspicious and we start considering those people as our enemy and that's how we stay in illusion not taking the feedback that might improve us and also the mind is like fire to lies now what do we mean by fire in the here here is like fire spreads rapidly once the fire has started it just starts spreading 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 so if we hear something bad about ourselves our mind becomes like ice and if we hear something bad about others the mind doesn't even want to verify whether it is true or false it just immediately wants to start speaking it and even if we don't speak it our mind catches the and our mind catches fire and our imagination starts become inflamed and we keep thinking about this more and more and more and more so this especially applies on the spiritual path with respect to the nature of worldly pleasures of and the nature of spiritual pleasures the spiritual joys are eternal everlasting but the mind is like ice to them and the mind focuses on how mind just doesn't want us to go toward those pleasures and keeps us restless wandering here there and everywhere and it is like fire as soon as a little sensual stimuli is brought the mind just drives us crazy in pursuing those stimuli and that's why the bhagavad gita says that we need to restrain our mind with our intelligence and then we can elevate ourselves so the bhagavad gita says in 343 evam buddhe param buddhva समस्तभ्यात्मात्म जहि शत्रु महाबाहो काम दुरासधम समस्तभ्य आत्मा आत्मना वी नीड टू सिचुएट अवर माइंड ऑन द स्पिरिचुअल रियालिटी ऑन स्पिरिचुअल ट्रूथ एंड हाउ डू वी डू दैट एवं बुद्धे परम बुद्धवा विथ अवर इंटेलिजेंस बींग फुल्ली कॉग्निज हैविंग फुल कॉग्निजेंस ऑफ आर ट्रांसजेंडेंस एंड दस although the mind is like ice to spiritual truths if we keep a use our intel using our intelligence to focus our mind then gradually the mind will become recept more and more pure and then it will become more and more receptive and that's when we will start experiencing real life real love and real joy thank you hari krishna